All right, everybody, we are going to dive in on the top 10 ways to get the absolute most out of your coaching with MAPS. Now, you joined Mastery Coaching to create change in your life. You're investing in yourself, and I want to make sure you get the most out of it. So number one, this sounds really simple. You want to make sure that you're prepared for your call and that you're in a quiet, non-distracted place where you will not be interrupted. You want to be able to sit down. You want, if possible, your computer. You want a notepad, a cup of coffee, and nothing else. Sit down, block out that time, and really concentrate on the communication with your coach. The second thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you challenge yourself to make big changes. Sometimes people join coaching and they think by the very nature of just hiring a coach and maybe changing one little thing, they're going to create huge changes in their life. Now, you're probably going to make a lot of changes and you're going to disrupt the patterns and habits that have created the success you've already had. As you know, what brought you here is not going to take you where you want to go. Get ready to make big changes. Number three, you want to actually track your numbers and you want to have your numbers prepared before your call. So make sure if you're using a call prep form or the MAPS numbers tracker that you have that filled out prior to your call. If you don't want to do it, leverage it out. Listings leads leverage. Have your admin fill in your form prior to the call. They can literally fill out the entire thing except for your big questions and probably your big win. We want that coming from you. The fourth way to get the absolute most out of your coaching is block another half an hour time during the week where you will set the time aside and review your notes, review what you talked about with your coach, plan and time block the action items that you all agreed upon and that you committed to doing. That's really going to guarantee that you get the work done and you keep moving forward. Number five, embrace the models and systems. People have done it before. Success leaves clues. Don't reinvent the wheel. Find out from your coach how you can use the systems in the MREA, the systems in the one thing, how you can master the tactics and shift. This is all laid out here for you. You can still customize it to suit you and your strengths. Embrace the models, embrace the systems. Uh, number six, you want to make sure that you build your own network, your own group of colleagues among the incredible mastery community. When you go to events, it's not just to go there and go to the breakout sessions and hear Gary speak. You're there to meet other like-minded individuals that are focused on growth, huge success, and building a life by design. Reach out to them. Design your own touch campaign for the agents that you meet at events with your coach and make it happen. Uh, number seven, affirmations are everything. And all I'm going to say about affirmations, I understand a lot of people think they're airy fairy or they want to make fun of them like you're on a Saturday Night Live skit. Let me just share with you there's science behind affirmations and you're doing affirmations every day whether you know it or not. Because if you're repeating negative self-talk or you're repeating your limiting beliefs, you are affirming in your mind that that's reality. Cut it out. Embrace affirmations. Change your mindset. Embrace visualizations. You're going to see faster growth in everything you take on. Number eight, whether or not you have a team, you are a leader. The more you develop your leadership skills, the more influence you'll have with your clients, the more that you'll be able to deliver information in a way where they can make a strong decision for themselves and their family. Embrace becoming a powerful leader as you work through your mastery coaching. Number nine, go to the events. It is so critical at least four times a year to get out of your rut, get out of your environment, get someplace new, get out of your own head, surround yourself with others and get in the energy and the dynamic feeling that you get when you go to the events. There's not just one way to do the events. Talk to your coach about your particular needs and desires and tailor your experience at the events to suit what you need in your business right now. Number 10, read the books that are going to support you in getting where you want to go. You would be surprised how many people still have not read 
the millionaire real estate agent. Guess what? Make this the time you actually read it. If the last time you read it was five years ago, break it out, read it now. Read it as if it's the first time you've ever read it. And then also read the one thing. Now, in addition to these, there's shift, there's MREI, there's flip, there's hold. There are all of the books that Gary recommends that really support what your coach is working on with you. Profit First is a great example. Rocket Fuel, Atomic Habits, the list goes on and on. Create your growth plan and commit to how many books you're gonna read every year. We recommend at least one per month, but there's no right or wrong answer. If it's one per quarter and you know that's what you'll do, do it. If you wanna challenge yourself, read 20 and 20, great. But let's get you reading on a regular basis. It's gonna help supercharge everything you do with your coach. So I hope these tips are helpful for you. Um, you can do them with any coach you're working with, whether you're in leadership, sales, a staff position. These tips can help you get the most out of your MAPS Mastery Coaching.